Hey gang. FLX Beer Review's back. We haven't slept since Joe left. Wait, Joe's not here? No, he, he left. Like, oh, shit. A week and a half ago, Mike. Um, oh. We got this beer. Um, FLX Beer Review's. Uh, swirling. Swirling, Dan. Swirling towards the future. And Joe's. Oh, Did nope. you see some? Joe's gone. What was that? Uh, we got this beer from Monkish. Um, they sent it to us? It means uh, no sleep means insomnia. It's, it seems proper for our scenario. Okay. Uh, it's got Motoike in it. It's got Citra. Um, Motoike sounds gross. You've seen floaties? Um, it's a triple IPA version of uh, um, Cousin Death and I can't sleep or something. I forget at this point. I'm just, I don't know what's happening. Anymore. Hold on. We need to sleep after this review. We're pushing this ourselves is too hard. This is, channel. Yeah. All right. This channel can't do this to us. Let's just get into it. Whoa. Um, this, we got this beer from a guy in California. He's probably slept. He's high in the Sierras in this hotel. I can't even pour right. It's... Oh, wow. I'll give him my best I shot. I guess it's the best shot. Do it. Double up. So, so Two nice. thumbs up. Shug it. Here it is. I knew you missed out on some. I think I hear a lawnmower. It's crazy what happens when you don't sleep for five days in a row. <laughs> I think Joe's still here. Well. <laughs> That's a good looking beer, Dan. Look at that. Look at it. Is it good looking? It looks it's fantastic. Oh, it's good looking. Woo! Woo! Monkish baby. Beer. It looks like the other monkish beer we had. It looks like an... I taste coaster. I just tasted pine off the coaster. It tastes like wood. And I'm, yeah. I think I'm gonna die. I think that's varnish. You're fine. Okay. I'm ruined. It's like someone cedar smoked the beer. He <laughs> just burnt up. The aroma is very subdued on this, in case you were wondering. Okay. I I'll let you know. I thought we were being shackled. I thought we could take a sip. I thought it was a, a... I was curious. I was like, I want to smell it. I thought this was like a casual Friday well, edition of last episode. And no one was telling me to smell it, but I did anyway. Okay. I did that on my own. All right. It's sweet. Oh, by the way, can't, did we say can on date? Mm, I don't remember. Yeah, I, was, I was half asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it says enter Sandman. Uh, six, seven, twenty. Go back. All right. So at the time of review, this is about two months old. That's pretty much a lot of our fault. Um, because we waited to do this. That's okay. I think it's things to be HP. There is a sweet citrusy kind of. You've spilled more beer than you've ingested. Can we? Let's just drink it. Okay. Cheers. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Zero. <laughs> Mm. What a wonderful grassiness. We're after rip. That's like lemongrass. Okay. Like a nice... Uh, uh, mm. That's interesting. I gotta I got be honest, it, it smells malty to me. Okay. Like it's very malt forward. I'm starting to get more of an aroma now. Yeah, I, I can see it that. There's like a bubble gum kind of like yeast to it as well. Yeah. I think you taste a little bit of age on it. It's still delicious. Citrusy. Wow. Why do we keep saying citrusy? Like, I want to define citrusy for you. It's a real like. Ooh. For a triple. Kind of. The body is very. Very, very drinkable. Yeah, I almost forgot it was a triple. There's an oniony kind of... 
I'd say more shallow. I'll say leek. Uh, notes to the citrus. Like, there's mm. definitely an orange peel mixed with, like, a lemon zest. So, there's a bit of... A little melon. Yes, like super overripe cantaloupe. Right. Like but then there's fleshy like fleshy middle part of the cantaloupe. Like uh white grape juice. I can see that. Not so much like it's white grape juice if you let it sit in a glass and it got really warm and it was just sitting on your counter and you forgot about it and three hours later you come back and take a sip. Lot specific. I, I deal with, I deal with toddlers, so I have mm. had this scenario. Fair enough. Get a little bit of alcohol on the back. I am. Yeah, I am. It's it's almost this brisk baby kind of maltiness. Maybe that Ooh. is. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. There is there is a nice little uh, kind of iced tea. I would like say dryness to it. Yeah, but more, more specifically, like lemon brisk, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. it's not like real tea; it's like manufactured tea. Oh, okay. and a little syrupy, a little more sweet than it should be. Yeah. Kind of tea. Okay, more than sun tea sitting on the porch. <laughs> I feel like you've had a lot of beverages just half drank sitting around the house for a while. <laughs> I mean, I live in a throne of. I literally like my house is built. Like the support beams are just Yetis stacked on top of them. <laughs> and when you say Yetis, I know you mean like you wonder why I can't sleep in limited night. edition Yeti I, colors. One toss and turn, this whole this whole this whole <laughs> thing comes nice down. Still. Hey, you won't have to worry about getting a phone call saying something from a jet fell on Dan when he was mowing the lawn and you had to take the Holy Trinity and wake him out of it. You're mm -hmm. gonna get a call. Uh, Dan and his family perished, uh, one of the Yetis gave out, and, uh, you know. It, it wasn't, it wasn't one of the limited edition color ones, because those are sturdy. Sturdy and strong as indeed, the day is long. Indeed. It was one of those, like, there was, well, a, there was a faulty, pro, like, a, one faulty Yeti, one faulty cactus green Yeti. With the, the little lip cap to it, didn't yeah. close completely right. well enough, where you're like, well, I can't use this, we'll just put it. We'll put it over by that header over there, and well, that was it. The Yeti's competitor, Arctic, they're just like, finally, we can prove ourselves better. Have you ever been on that website, Arctic? No. Their competitor? No. You know what it's like? It's exactly <laughs> the same as Yeti. It is literally like Papa John's and Pizza Hut, after the owners went their separate ways. Uh, like, I mean, it's just like slight differences. But it's like that. It's like Diabella's and Wegman subs. Which one? Which one is doing it on purpose, though? It is Arctic doing it to mess with Yeti, and they're just like, well, whatever they do. We'll just Here's do what it. I want to know. I want to know who came first. If you know, let us know who came first, Yeti or Arctic. And it's not like A R C T I C. It's like R T I C. Oh. Arctic. Oh, that's not at all what I. Oh, okay. Um, but anyways. Like probably igloo. you know what it's like? What's igloo doing these days? <laughs> you know how Oreo <laughs> stole the cookie? Yeah. Like Oreo didn't invent that cookie. Hydrox. Did. Hydrox. Yeah. But Oreo just happened to come out on top. Well that's the same situation as Arctic. I feel like anybody could have had a Hydrox and been like, well, we can make this piece of shit better. Like <laughs> I mean. Are they still a thing? They gotta be. Really? I. Do you think there's? You do you think there's those. a store where you just go and there's like, uh, what's that soda? Mister Pibbs, Mister Pibbs and Hydrox. Yeah, but Mister Pibbs is isn't that the Wegman's one? Mister Pibbs, no, Wait, it's, it's what, like it's like a. Oh brand. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Mr. like Pibbs it's is, like Mister yeah, Pibbs yeah. every day. They're like Doctor Pepper screwed us over. They stole everything we had. They stole. All 21 of our flavors. Would that, not be, a, would that not be a great idea for a store? Of like all, all, the, all, all the brands that got All the supposed generic and, brands and, that and, were the originals. And who pioneered the way only for someone to come along and make, make one tweak and their stuff is superior. 
<laughs> so you're you're specifically going there to get the originals that are far inferior to the actual other ones. Yeah. Like, well, I'm doing this on principle. Like, I understand that, you know, dunking my Hydrox in a glass of Mr. Pib, it may, it may not be for everybody, but these people need jobs too. And like, the whole thing is like, what makes this story unique is we also run like a YouTube channel and we get interviews with like the owners of these companies and like the grandkids of like the founders and they can finally air out the dirty laundry. And we create food wars. What if, well, but what if there was like a mole in the Hydrox Corporation? And he was well, like, like Willy Wonka? He's, he's like, like, yeah, he's just like, guys, they're missing this one ingredient. This is what, and Oreo was like, is that right? And he sells it to them. And so he's getting a cut of all the Oreos. And, and even though he's still working what? for Hydrox. What was his name in Willy Wonka? Mr. Slug or something? Yeah, but he was still good in the no, end. I know, but he, I know, but like, I picture him, but like, well, he really isn't good. <laughs> but no, he was helping. I just want to create a store. I want to carry these items. And I want to give the people that got wronged uh, a proper venue to air out their grievances. I feel like if you're going to open this kind of store, you also have to be like a FedEx pickup and drop off place, too. You can even do like, you can do crossovers. You just have the Festivus pole in the middle of the store. Grab it. Air out the grievances. <laughs> Did you do tastings <laughs> Friday afternoons? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna open up. Uh, we're gonna open up this Mr. Pib from nineteen. I'll tell you what. If you know any brands that have got wronged or gotten, basically, they could have been the one, but it got stolen from them. You drop that brand in down below. I think anyone wronged Monkish? We wronged Monkish by letting this beer age two months. Wow. It's just, it's a good beer. It's just, it's, it's a little malty. And I, I feel like it was probably more bombastic from the get, but we just let it age. Or maybe it's always been like this and this is triple is a little malty. I wish there was more aspect from the Motueka, more lemon lime goodness that I really enjoyed from Motueka. But hey, there's different batches of Motueka and I can't shame a certain brand of Motueka. But overall, I really like the beer. I'll give it like a 4.1. Is this, is this the Mr. Pib of Motueka? This is what happens when we don't sleep for a week and a half. It's true. We probably should have slept before we drank this beer. Probably. I'll give it a four. Okay. Um, hey, down description below. Uh, Love if, the label. if you've been wronged, let us know. Or not in the description, but in the comment section. <laughs> Gotta get sleep. Uh, we're going to break out. Well, I'm going to break out uh, some cleaners and uh, stuff like that. Take care of this mess. Mike, where can they find us? Uh, you can find us on the Instagrams, the threads, Twitters, FLX Beer Reviews. Untaps, untaps, both our own. Drop us a line. Tell us about all the grievances you have with some no-name brands that were just wronged severely in the past. I'll tell you what. If you have watched it this long, I have we're gonna we're, we're no we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out, Mike. Personal oh. challenge to you. If you watch it this long, I want you to leave the comment Hydrox down in <laughs> down down there. That's awesome. Uh, thank. Thanks for watching this long, everybody, or whoever did. Hydrox.